Here's 29.2. A particle, 5 nanocoulombs, mass 3 micrograms, moves in a region where the magnetic field has the components Bx equal to 2 millitesla, By equal to 3 millitesla, and Bz equal to negative 4 millitesla. At an instant when the speed of the particle is 5 kilometers per second and the direction of the velocity is 120 degrees relative to the magnetic field, what is the magnitude of the acceleration of the particle? All right, let's see what we have here. We have a, we have a charge equal to 5 nanocombs. 5 times 10 to the minus 9. We have a mass that is 3 micrograms. So that's 3 times 10 to the minus 6. And then a gram is 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. So this is 3 times 10 to the minus 9 kilograms. Okay, we have a uh, velocity that is 5 kilometers, 5 times 10 to the 3 meters per second. And we have a magnetic field where we're given the components. So we have um, 2i plus 3j minus 4k millitesla. And uh, we, f we know our angle is 120 degrees. All right, that's the information. Uh, the nice thing about giving the angle between the magnetic field direction and the velocity is that we can then use our magnitude formula, the force equals QVB sine theta. And if we knew the magnitude of the magnetic field, B, then we could use this formula. We know the vector magnetic field, so let's find its magnitude. The magnitude of B is the square of all the components add together, square root, will give us the magnitude times 10 to the minus 3 Tesla. So we're going to have 2 squared plus 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. Five point three nine times ten to the minus three Tesla. All right, so that's the magnitude of our magnetic field. All right, so now we can find the force. Our force is equal to the charge five times ten to the minus nine times the velocity five kilometers per second. So 5 times 10 to the 3 meters per second times the magnetic field, which we just found to be 5.39 times 10 to the minus 3 times the sine of the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field, which was given as 120 degrees. So what is, what is all this? Sorry about that. I get 1.167 times 10 to the minus 7 newtons. Alright, so that's the magnitude of our force. And if we want the acceleration, acceleration would equal this force divided by the mass. So that is 1.167 times 10 to the minus 7 over the mass of this particle which was given as 3 micrograms so we have 3 times 10 to the minus 9 kilograms this was newtons and so that is going to give us 38.89 38.9 meters per second squared so the acceleration of this particle is 38.9 meters per second squared.